The present discourse within the cryptocurrency community revolves around a contentious dispute between the Floy Inu Floy Protocol and the Bit Cryptocurrency Exchange. The controversy arose when Bit listed the token Phi token without adhering to the seven day listing deadline, resulting in allegations of market manipulation, unauthorized listing, and insufficient stability. In response to Big's claim of missing the aforementioned deadline, the Flaky Ina Flaky Company has engaged in a heated argument. As of October 27, 2023, Big Get has been accused of engaging in market manipulation. By Tet, on the aforementioned date, announced the inclusion of Token Phi Token in its spot markets innovation zone. Following the initiation of Token's trade service, significant fluctuations in prices were promptly observed, prompting speculation of market manipulation. Concerns were further amplified upon discovering that Token's project team had injected tokens valued at less than $2,000 into the liquidity pool of decentralized exchanges, DXs. This occurrence raised suspicions regarding potential manipulation of the initial liquidity. An examination of the token fight project revealed additional issues, including an obscure token economy and an unclear vesting plan. Consequently, Bitay made the decision to remove the token fight token from its platform and implement a buyback initiative to safeguard its users in light of these findings. Floy Inu expressed a strong reaction to the actions of the exchange, asserting that it had violated its commitment to refrain from selling tokens until seven days after the launch of the mean coin system. The exchange claimed to have engaged in discussions with prominent individuals in the cryptocurrency industry and several tier one exchanges. Despite these exchanges expressing their desire to list the token earlier, Floy Inu opted to adhere to the predetermined timeframe. It is worth noting that BIC, the smallest exchange involved, allegedly listed a counterfeit version of the token a mere 12 minutes prior to its official launch on the blockchain. Floy Inu also said BitGit had used deceptive trading practices to change the volume of token without showing proof that they actually had the tokens according to the protocol. Bytot initially stated that withdrawals would be feasible 24 hours subsequent to the commencement of trading. This circumstance potentially implies an attempt to manipulate the token's price. However, the market response did not align with Bytot's expectations, resulting in substantial financial losses. The situation further deteriorated as users encountered difficulties in withdrawing tokens from Bits platform. Additionally, it has been reported that certain users were banned for voicing their grievances. Floy Ina reported attempting to contact BitG in order to discuss an issue, but received a discourteous response instructing them to direct any cash-related concerns to the BitET support team. According to Floy Inu, it is asserted that there existed a state of bad faith. After engaging in subsequent discussions between Fy Inu and Bit, it became evident that Bit required a maximum of 1 billion token Phi tokens to fulfill user transaction demands and compensate for their insufficient liquidity. According to Phi's response, around 10% of the total available Phi tokens, equivalent to approximately $20 million, were involved in the largest comment.